What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are going to be doing the last kind of big color change item uh, since the wrap, and that is the wheels. So they're going to be changing color, but since they are a super rare spec, trial tuning, try four Zeldas, most of the time when you see these they're just in like a silver and polished uh, finish, but these are actually like from factory, they were this special candy red kind of thing. So. I don't really want to permanently coat them yet. I'm still like torn if I should even ever do that. So for now, we're just gonna be going with like a temporary solution, but it'll be like high quality still. So we're gonna be using this stuff called Super Wrap. Originally it was auto dip. It's kind of like Plasti Dip because you can, you can peel it off afterwards. Like you gotta lay on the proper number of coats. And then if you do it right, uh, if you ever wanted to change it, it just peels off kind of like vinyl, but it also gives like a super high gloss like high quality finish I've used it a couple times before just like black never really any other color. So we're going white I'm still not sure what the best way is gonna be because like I don't know if I want to leave the centers gunmetal or Do them all completely white. So we'll figure that out. So this is the stuff you can see it's peelable, peelable, yep. High gloss, Arctic white, and yeah. So we got four cans of that. They kind of do a pretty good job of uh, telling you how much you need on their website when you're ordering, like how many cans per wheel, stuff like that. And then I got one can of gloss, high gloss clear. We'll just make it even glossier after that. And so that's the stuff. And then I also got just some other things like a kit of stuff. Gave me a couple pretty nice uh, microfibers. So we got those. Got some tire shine. So that's the wheel cleaner. And prep spray. Hagalo Usted Mismo. And then got like some, some masking stuff. But I mean, clearly it's just like tape. And they give you this like, uh, looks like just plastic, like poly sheets that you can spread over an area and some tape. So we got to pull the wheels off and we got to clean them. Uh, we'll probably just do like two at a time because I don't have a lift. So let's roll, baby. It was way too hard for me to mask off this like inside area too because the spokes here come really tight into that edge too. So we're just spraying all of it. And you gotta do like really light coats with this stuff. At least for sure for the first couple. I'm probably already like too heavy on this maybe. So this stuff says on it that you're supposed to put like 10 coats on it. Um, I basically ended up just using, I'll use one full can per 
wheel. But uh, what I'm doing is basically going to put a couple of coats on the inside first so that it just turns out a lot cleaner when I actually coat the outside. I would do like the whole inner part of the barrel, but I don't have enough paint for that. And yeah, that's okay for now. So just a couple coats on the inside and then that way when I flip it over and do the outside, it just turns out so much cleaner because you can see from certain angles, you end up seeing the back pieces, like especially like this inner wall here and here. And if I only sprayed it from the front, I can't get that as good. So we'll just continue with the other three wheels. Two wheels down, two to go. You say to let this stuff dry up for probably like six to eight hours before you actually peel the masking tape off. I will let that sit overnight. Pull the masking tape off tomorrow and then probably finish both the front wheels tomorrow. to do this satisfying peel thing. looks pretty freaking cool. I don't know what to do because before I lowered it, um, turning the car around and coming back in up my driveway, the wheel like rubbed this inside edge. And so now it actually like rubbed through the wrap because the wrap is tucked around that edge. And so there's like edges of the wrap now hanging a little bit. I don't know if that's something that it would like eventually pull the wrap off the fender or like what would happen but I don't like it and I definitely need to cut my fender liner on the other side because my fender liner is gonna rub on that side for sure but like yeah that that looks so much better pretty sweet definitely one thing is like if you have very open wheels I would definitely recommend that you get enough spray to do the inside of the barrel completely too. If I had a couple more cans, I probably would have just because like, I don't know when the light hits it, you can see like into the back of the barrel. And like, I tried to mask it 
as cleanly as I could. But I mean, it's still not the best. You can't notice a lot, but like, still would be better if the inside was all done too. If your wheels aren't as open, probably doesn't make near as big of a difference, but probably would still be like best practice. Just do like the whole wheel. Cause also when the time comes that I have to peel this off or when, when I want to peel it off, maybe, um, I don't know how the back is going to peel because I left it just kind of like faded into the edge like that. I'm not sure. So yeah, anyway, just make sure you get enough material and do the back really like take your time and put in the work if you want it to turn out really good. All in all, this is pretty sick. Mm -hmm.